fellow will not win Just this fight. Just you. For the realms! Just... Huh. Huh. Bah! Vile things that befit a vile traitor. Be on the alert, Harpers. We haven't seen the last of Marcus yet. As for you, you exposed a true soul in our midst. You're no puppet of the Absolute, are you? How is that possible? Hmm. I suspect this isosahedral artifact is involved. is that thing hmm yeah I might as well to tell her everything why not congratulations you've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt hear me Harpers all clear at ease I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is but I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? Quests? <laughs> to destroy the Absolute in this lair, Moonrise Tower. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds, too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Burning through our oil, but... Just about do. But it can take a meeting. Just about. Mac Shouldn't hang around too long, though. Darkness forever. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Just about. Just about. Shouldn't hang around too long. Close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. 
Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. I expected a bit more decorum from a flaming fist soldier. Want me to shine your boots while I'm at it? Easy. He's a bit on edge since the uh, incident. A bit on edge, my ass. Not that you'll give a triple shot, Dan. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. I was there in the aftermath. I don't suppose Counselor Florek made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a God's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Something's on my mind. Should've trusted me instincts about that fist. Knew there was something off about him, but I just let it go. Anything I could take off your hands with no cost for myself? Oh, so I failed. So sad. Cheeky. What? Since you're asking. Supply bag. Alright. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Let's see. Oh my. That's how you get. Okay. Hmm. Mean spell attack plus one. And fire resist. Pretty good. You know, I haven't actually checked that. Yeah, three hundred. How much is that now? 214? 214 1 Wow, that dropped a lot Max Yeah, so that's like about a 1000 gold donation And she dropped this by a thousand gold Close enough to a thousand gold. And she's buying everything for a more expensive? Okay. I see.
Oh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool too. That's for a barbarian. Interesting. The armor class is always 16 on that. And this gives all X. This is actually 18. We're good. After dealing damage with an unarmed, never mind. When you make a first attack on a round, you lose the target with an enchantment. Take care now. There's no time to waste. Is she only used plus one? Uh, because bark skin, right? If you're all right by Jahira, you're Just take everything.
Your channel oath though? What currently you have? Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but it should just about do. Just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long though. Jahira wants to know about supplies. Will we make it home? Burning through our oil, but it should just about do. Just about? Just about. We shouldn't hang around too long though. Honestly, what I have is already so good. It's the only one weapons. Weapons are pretty good too. I can't actually do anything with that, huh? If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. I got so much more money by just giving her a thousand gold. Not bad. I should have been doing that for every single merchant. stuff. Take care now. to tell.
If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. So these are all the things I can sell. But why? Do that. Okay. Do we even need Infernal Iron anymore? I already like killed the quest line that's supposed to be part of. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Insufficient gold. Hmm. Are these categorized under consumables? Take care now. All right. Thank you for bearing with me for that inventory management session. Toasty in here. No. 
still incapable. Incapable what? You said that twice now. I need a man an explanation. Not for you to know. You're the oxide mic back on the grove. You were very hungry then. I saved you all, and now you have food. Oh wow, I got a six. Jesus Christ. Well come close. Your mind to mine. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Is that a threat? That's up to you. Fine. Good little hero. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. Glad to see you made it too. I remember you from the grove with the druids. I hoped to see you again. And now I have. How do you make it through? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. All right. I don't want to go explore out there yet. Interesting. Just a lonely old door down there, huh? Thank you for helping us out there. Those shadows would have torn us to bits. Poor Jonas. Kid was as green as they come. Yeah, considering he walked out of the light. Even an idiot wouldn't know to stay inside.
Until then, keep watch. Keep wary. I need your senses sharp. Don't wander far. We need to talk. Hmm. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. Smell wine first. <laughs> hey, got 15. Nice. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. Hmm. Cloth grass, a rare specimen found in the moon shade IO. That must be shorn under the full moon. I'm honored you go to such effort for me. You know more of the herb than I do, it seems. Except for how it tastes, perhaps. Drink it. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Yes, the parasite is giving me power I have never had before. It's changing me for the better. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Yes. You can trust me. What happened to being me being godsend you were praying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Sounds like a necromancy at play. It seems likely. Which means he isn't working alone. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. So smug, if we can discover the source of this immortality, why the potential is endless. There is only one outcome that interests me. Killing Gatherick Thorm and ensuring that it sticks this time. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Just 
seems like I'll be doing most of the lifting. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. I know you're keen, Ellen. Be patient. Your chance will come. Until then, keep watch and keep wary. I need your senses sharp. Harper Boar? Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. There's so Someone's many unnecessary voice lines. I love it. Bring them. Yes, Mom. Alright, Tom will do the trick. Hey, okay. great. Because success, thanks. His Majesty? Hiss! I say hiss! <laughs> Intimidation. Yes. Fifteen fifteen. Ice. I see. Yes. Perhaps you're right. Good. I like it. We could have a civil discussion. Fine. How did you get to this place? It was quite straightforward. I slinked. Or anything interesting? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. Mm -hmm. My conclusion? She's a liar. <laughs> What's your name? I call myself His Majesty. Could I use someone like you in my camp? Can you join? I'd rather die. Oh. Rudeness. That's curious. When the word deals cold damage, they also create 15 feet circle of ice around the target. That's not terrible. Arcane synergy? What's that? Weapon attack equal uh, deals damage equal to the equal to affected entity spellcasting ability. Oh, that's that's terrible. I'll be an ice queen. Poking around this God's forsaken place, you must have someone in Moonrise too. Hope you find them. Thank you. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. He 
still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. Hmm. What's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. Beggars belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. What can you tell me about Isobel? Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Is that so? I'd like to talk to him. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free so to say So if I kill her, hello. everyone dies Maybe here? a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, Guys. I won't be here when You know where this around. is headed. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. You know? The I'm not a creative a man. With news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. I'm going to destroy this entire place. I'm going to kill everyone here. But I'm hoping to get the people at Moonrise Tower to do that for me. They might be wondering, why did I out the other guy if I was going to do this anyways? Because I want this to be my achievement, not his. Everything will be my achievement. How dare he try to take over this place himself. Uh, what does Steel Watch? The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. the tonic the journey back to Baldur's gate won't be easier but your task here is harder still Timora be with you heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers I heard you're working your way there yourself not sure I'd call it that myself this fellow's in no condition to help anyone. That makes you our best bet. Hope it's a good one. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color. I'm Fistula. Nathaniel mm -hmm. and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. 
Mm -hmm. The name you mentioned, Daniel, who's that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. What's wrong with him? A century locked inside a shower and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met R anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Do you check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. Parchment. Is that the House of Healing? I wonder what you found. Climbing up. Please, if you have any idea how to get through to him. Recall your studies. After 20. He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharon realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. His mind lingers in the shadow, Fel, but perhaps it can be returned. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe. Look closer at him. One. Thanks. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Playing Kolak, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't saying. Monsters, snuffling and stalking in the shade where we are walking. You can help him, can't you? He just. As I listen.
seems simple enough. Catherick Thorn as he once was, a devotee of Saluna. I'm going through everything she has, yeah. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Hmm. I already exposed a traitor among your ranks. What more do you want? And I'm very grateful, but very needy, too. Imagine our luck. We set up a desperate camp in the middle of a curse in the heart of an evil cult. And who should emerge from the darkness? But you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. <laughs> it hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. I already have a moon lantern. I can safely travel the shadows. Well, if I'd realized, I'd have spared the theatrics. In that case, you should be able to navigate a path straight to your target. That's good. Very good. I wish you luck. The very best of it. Anything else I should know? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies 
worth having. <laughs> While you're busy in the towers, I'll be Allies sure to- Allies worth killing. Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Marcus. Ah, true soul. How glad I am to see you again. Not a step closer, Marcus. I'm warning you. I don't know what your game is, but you can still redeem yourself if you follow my lead. My instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. Hmm. Probe is mine for more information. Only a sick, that's easy. Yeah. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Hmm. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. It's dusting looking wings. Time to go, Isabel. Immune to Phantasmal Killer. Immune to being charmed. I'm guessing Phantasmal Killer is a charm thing, which is kind of stupid. Oh, come on, yell something. Oh, that works. This is a big battle, by the way. Huge. Target must be humanoid. He isn't a humanoid. He's immune to being feared, I think. Yep. 
immune to being feared. Right, she's only level five. General Kendrick, you're alive at any cost. 